And we are here at Atari's Alone in the Dark event, and I am with Nor Poloni, who is producer on Alone in the Dark uh, from Eden Games. Hello, Nor. Hi. So we actually saw the very first look at Alone in the Dark back in 2006 at XO6 in Amsterdam. And we're now uh, in 2008, and game is almost out. So tell us about what you guys were working on back then and what you guys have wound up with, because that was, I mean, that was pretty far out. The, the calls and the decisions that you guys were making on the game could have been kind of wrong. So what was it, what's it like now to see the almost final game and be like, well, it kind of worked out? Yeah, well, actually, at that time, we, were, we had the vision of what we wanted to do since the very beginning of the game, and we were f just progressively putting it out, all the different elements that we needed to do. And we were taking a lot of challenges. One of the challenges was doing already a next generation of next generation games four years ahead in some sense and also doing a lot of innovation in terms of the features of the game we've got incredible fire used as a core element of gameplay we've got in terms of the interaction you can have with the environment we really push the limits of what you could do in that sense and we have a broad mix of gameplay in the game you cannot just not only explore an area and fight but you can also drive through you can do a lot of incredible things and uh, it really created a lot of emergent gameplay. So uh, what we did is we um, fleshed out the technology, uh, put down or finished up all the features that we did in terms of prototypes, where we did iterate, it, uh, different iterations to make sure that the f core features, because they're innovative, we had to get them right. Once we got all the bases of the features ready, we started working as small teams on different sections of the game. And their objective was to bring the, uh, this, that section of the game to the top quality possible. So they were motivated to make sure that their sequence was at the quality that we wanted for the game. And once we've put down all those different sections of the game, we did a lot of focus tests. The, the, the public actually helped us make sure that the game was correctly tuned and we did a lot of iterations working with them and it really helped us get to that last step before the game is now out. Now by making it accessible to more people, you guys aren't really dumbing it down. Is there still stuff that like the hardcore alone fans are really going to be able to seek their teeth into? Oh yes. Uh, the idea is that when we talk about wide, wide audience, it's not uh, just uh, casual gamers. We also are addressing hardcore gamers. And hardcore gamers, they're going to have so much fun combining objects together to create really incredible weapons and also be able to build traps, for example, for enemies. Uh, the possibilities are humongous. So. I'm, I'll be interested to see in the future some videos of like some hardcore gamers of how what they've achieved in the game. Uh, that would be something interesting to see. Very cool. And so, when is it coming out? What platforms? The game's coming out on 360 PC, PS2, and Wii in June 24th in the US, and the PS3 following on later on this year. All right. Well, thank you, Nora. Good luck. That's it for Alone in the Dark. Be sure to check back on the site for some very disturbing video, but cool.